Welcome to Titan Souls. This is a game where you play as a hero who intrudes into the domain of the Titans, wakes them from their slumber, murders them, and steals their souls. You really just play as the nicest guy. It's made by Acid Nerve, and it actually originally started out as an entry in a Ludum Dare, so it was a very small kind of prototype sort of game, and it ended up becoming pretty popular and developed into the full game that you see before you. If you'd like to play it for yourself, you can get it from a bunch of different places, and I'll have links to all of that in the description. Let's begin. This game has very beautiful art and music. Just lovely. So this beginning part is just kind of a little mini tutorial. But uh, it doesn't take a lot of... It's not very hard to understand the game's mechanics because it is actually mechanically very, very simple. That seems to be one of the very specific things that it's actually trying to do. Is be a very, very simplified game. So you have one weapon only. This little bow and arrow that I shoot. You only have one arrow. You shoot it out, and then once you've shot it out, you have to retrieve it. Which you can do either by just stepping over it, of course. Or, more likely, you have to kind of stand by and just kind of make it come towards you by pressing a button. That's how you retrieve your arrow. And when you go to retrieve it, by the way, you can't actually move your character while you're retrieving it. While it's, you're pulling it towards yourself. Which uh, becomes pretty important during the fights, as you can imagine. Uh, I think that's a save point, I'm not quite sure. And that's kind of it! You can sprint, you can dodge, you can shoot your one arrow, you can retrieve it. Um, enemies, that is the bosses, since the only thing you actually fight are bosses. They all die in one hit, and you also die in one hit. So it's a super simple game. And I did actually play the demo for this game, which included three different bosses. I'm not sure if those same bosses will be in the full game. We'll have to see. So I'm a little bit experienced with the mechanics, but uh, let's just jump into the first boss arena and see what this is. This is going to be a game of many, many deaths. I will probably die within the first couple seconds of fighting any new boss. Multiple times. What the heck is that? Oh my god, there's a massive slime. Okay, this enemy was definitely not in the demo. I didn't mean to shoot that. Come back here, arrow. Anything to do here? Don't think so. Okay. What are you doing? Hi. Alright, it doesn't seem to be angry at me. So I think I just need to shoot the heart in the center. I guess the question is, how do I get rid of all the jelly to actually get at the heart? I don't know, but let's shoot it and uh, start the boss fight. Okay, it splits. Oh! Oh god. Oh, and I'm covered in slime because I stepped in the slime and now I'm slow. Okay, gotcha. I missed! Oh, oh god. That was close. Okay, wow. This is... Yeah. I'm about to die. No! Fuck. Yep, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can keep shooting, or if you'd even want to keep shooting the smaller slimes to get rid of them, or if you should just juggle them and focus on the main dude. I'm just gonna focus on the main dude. We'll see how that goes. Oh, crap. Oh, 
Okay, it looks like as your arrow actually gets pulled back, that counts as a hit. So if it gets pulled back to you through the slimes, you're okay. Okay, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I just need to hit it now. Just need to hit it. Yes, got it. <laughs> yes, I murdered the Titan. Oh, I'm such a good person. Let's steal its soul. Look at it, it's nothing but like a burnt and or shrunken little pile. I feel like there's some really disturbing stuff actually going on in this game with you honestly probably just being a murderer. I don't know though, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, that big flashy thing where you stole the Titan's soul might lead you to think that I've gained power or something. But not really. This game, again, it's very simple. The mechanics are very simple. There's, as far as I know, there's no stats, there's no leveling up. None of that. Okay, yeah, so this is one of the bosses from the demo that I played. So I'm familiar with this enemy. This enemy is really, really cool. You have to wake it up by shooting it, by the way. So basically, basically it's a cube that only moves in cardinal directions. That eye that you see on top will actually open up and shoot a laser beam. It only moves a certain amount of predetermined uh, movement spaces until it shoots, so if it shoots down, it you'll see. Laser beam. And then laser beam. So you want the eye situated in a way that doesn't kill you, but you can actually shoot it with an arrow, because if it's pointing upwards, you can't shoot it. Yeah, and if it points down, it does that. That was terrible, I don't know why I tried to shoot. Whew, got it. <laughs> Couldn't even see the eye, but I knew it was down there somewhere. It is so eerily quiet after you defeat them. I guess you've basically killed their realm. Was once full of life, and now you've taken everything. But yeah, these early bosses that, especially the ones I fought before from the demo, are obviously going to be very fast, but I'm expecting the other ones to be quite a bit slower since I actually need to learn uh, the, pat the patterns. This one I feel like I fought as well. I think this might be the brain in the ice enemy from the demo. <clears throat> okay, yeah, it is. <laughs> this one's a fun one. I won't even explain what's going on. You'll, you'll see. Alright, so whenever it hits over those buttons, it uh, lights the thing in the center on, on fire. And I'm dead. So, basically, you want it to step over one of the buttons, or be pushing one of the buttons, so that the fire turns on, and then you want to shoot the arrow through the fire, so that the arrow actually becomes on fire, and then hits the enemy, and then melts the ice. So that's the goal to begin with, and then after that you just shoot the brain, after it's revealed. Okay, that was kind of awkward. <laughs> My arrow got stuck on the back of it and activated it. <gasps> Whoops. Yeah, the fact that your arrow, when returning to you, can actually kill enemies has got to be a very important tactic for some enemies. I feel like that's something you can really use. Ooh, right now? Yeah! Oh, there we go. Ooh! 
Alright, I need to get away from this damn thing and get my arrow back. Or, let me try actually retrieving the arrow. Huh. No, that didn't work. I almost want to practice my tactic of retrieving the arrow. And having the retrieval of the arrow actually kill the enemy. Let's try it. Oh, I was gonna be perfect! No! I was retrieving the arrow and I was about to kill it. Okay, fancy strats are a fail. Okay, I'll kill it the normal way. Lame. Damn it. Thank God it stopped just short of me. And, okay, so this is the final one that I fought in the demo. This is the arm one. Hello! Now, this is a fight that, unless they've changed it from the demo, there is an incredibly lame way to kill it easily. A way that I don't want to do. Let me see if the, the kind of exploit, or whatever you want to call it, is still left in from the demo. So let's wake it up. So it tries to pound you with its fists. Yeah, so that's the lame way, is, as you can tell, it can't actually reach all the way down. And you can use that to just easily shoot it. But I don't think that's fun. So the basic idea with this boss is that, depending on whether you're on the left side, the left half of this arena, or the right half, he'll use either one fist or the other. And the other fist is always protecting its face, so you want him to switch fists, and then it's in that moment when he switches fists that there's an opening. So let's exploit that, but let's not do it the lame way. Let's actually dodge. I press the wrong button. I press the arrow button, not the dodge. <laughs> Whoops. It's way more fun to dodge, though. It's really exciting. I did it before, instead of doing the lame way, and it was so much more fun. Whoops. Let's go pretty well. Dodge everything successfully. Except the one that I didn't dodge, and then I died. Yes, yeah, so you kind of want to bait it, basically. You want it to switch fists and then use that opening to shoot it. There we go. It's really not hard at all. Alright, so that is the end of the bosses that I actually know. All the rest will be completely unexplored. Also, by the way, you can do this. Whee! Can't do it upwards, but you can do it down. I've also heard that this game has secrets, by the way. 
Even secret bosses, actually. So I'm always looking around for little areas where I can, like, jump off the side or something. I know you can climb these vines, actually. It's gotta be used for something at some point. And in fact, is that a pathway? No. It's vertical. This game's art is really lovely. open for me now that I've defeated all the bosses of the area, but first, I want to explore a little bit. Let me see if I can fall off of the edge or something. Eh, it doesn't seem like it. Nah, it doesn't seem like it. I feel like once I've killed more bosses, I'll be able to, like, step on these other spots and go places or something. I don't know, there's gotta be some sort of a hub thing, and I think that's it back there. Where does that go? But first, where does everywhere else go? if this is just another normal area, or if this is a secret. Lovely waterfalls. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Let's go find out. Is this like a whole new area? A single boss? creepy. I think it's a whole new area. Seems way too large to just be a single boss. Is that snow? Is this the snow region? Oh, looks like it is. I wonder if there's like a difficulty increase between different regions. Like, maybe I shouldn't go here first? I don't know. I mean, I can't be... <laughs> the good thing is I can't be underleveled for the area. I might be underexperienced, but not underleveled. Hmm. These things are suspicious. I'm just gonna try shooting everything. Ah, checkpoint. Okay, so this is an entirely new area. Hmm, I think I can climb that. Oh boy. It's a big arena. Hello, Yeti. I've seen you in screenshots. Alright, I'm about to wake the Yeti up. Let's get a feel for the arena. I see a bunch of snowballs or something that I'm assuming are going to be thrown at my face. Because that's what Yetis like to do, right? Throw huge snowballs at you. Alright, wakey wakey. Okay. 
He is a snowball himself. That didn't hit. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, throw snowballs. He is a ball himself, and things fall from the ceiling. Okay. Is there any way to specifically avoid the things falling from the ceiling? Or is it just random? Okay, it looks like they fall where you are, so yeah, I think you just have to basically move. It looks like there's a very brief window right after he rolls, where he gets up for just a split second. God damn it. I shouldn't have shot again, I don't know why I did that. Also, he seems to have a really exposed ass. I wonder if I need to shoot him in the butt. I don't know if his front's, like, armored. It just looks like he's... I mean, he's got hair, obviously, but I don't feel like that really armor him. Maybe that's his weak spot. Ah, damn it! Hard to tell when to shoot and when to dodge the stuff falling from the ceiling. That's the problem, the stuff falling from the ceiling. <sighs> Thank God the run back is so merciful. It's a lot more forgiving in that regard than, say, Dark Souls. I just need to wait until the spikes start to come down, and then if I move just a little bit, I'll be okay. Because they're not going to move position on where they're falling after they've already decided where they're going to fall. Get my arrow back. You know, in those cases, actually, actually, it'd just be better to step over instead of retrieving it. Because then you can just run into it, yeah. That way you can be on the move when retrieving it, rather than having to stand still. Oh, he caught me with the edge. even pounding my body, what a dick. Well, if I can get him to come, like, straight at one of the sides, he bounces back. 
If he comes straight at one of the sides, he'll bounce back right away from me and his ass will be exposed. I think. Unless he's always facing towards me. I, I don't... I'm not gonna worry about that, though. I don't know if I need to actually shoot him in the ass. Let's not worry about that until I've confirmed. Would be a good idea to shoot him when he's throwing snowballs at me. Because the snowballs don't actually instantly kill me, they just seem to push me really far away. I wonder if my arrow would hit the snowball. Let's find out. I'm gonna try to shoot him when he's shooting snowballs at me. Okay, yeah, so the snowballs will kill you if they pound you into the side. I tried to shoot my arrow at him twice, and not surprisingly, that didn't work. Because that would probably be way too easy of a fight if you could just shoot him once, retrieve your arrow, and then shoot him again when he's throwing snowballs at you. Can you shoot him when he's rolling at you? There's no way. That'd be way too easy. There's a lot of questions. It's hard to test them because I'm dying all the time. I'm going to try shooting him when he's rolling at me. I really don't think that's going to work, but you never know. No, okay, that does not work. Need my arrow back. Where's my arrow? Where's my arrow? How? Oh, I was about to say, how am I still alive? I'm not. <laughs> It's the longest I've ever lasted, though. I, I took a couple pot shots, but I wasn't able to actually aim long enough to really get a good shot. It's just kind of like, oh my god, he's over in that direction, please hit! It didn't. Or maybe it did, and he does have a weak spot, and I'm not hitting it. <gasps> There's no way to know. Also, I noticed that the um, icicles actually block the snowballs. Okay, okay, yeah, it bounced off him. It bounced off him, so he does have a weak spot and I need to hit it. Holy crap. Okay, I need to hit him in the ass. How in the hell am I going to do that? I'm just going to dodge him for a while and look for a place where his big pink ass is exposed. Such a brief moment. Except when he's throwing snowballs, but he's always looking at me when he's throwing snowballs, so that's not gonna work. Unless I, like, bounce the freaking arrow off the side, which <laughs> it's possible, but good luck. Oh! 
Okay, I think I do need to be near the wall, actually, because if I'm near the wall, he'll bounce off. I think that's got to be my opportunity. Yeah, I think I need to have him bounce off the wall so he exposes his butt to my arrow. Yeah, that's a problem, though. If you're close to the wall, it's a little bit hard to dodge. <clears throat> but I think that's good. I think that's going to work. Yeah, stay close to the wall. Yeah, <laughs> so dead. So dead. What if I actually have him come right towards the entrance? Because the entrance is nice and flat. He's going to bounce off of that perfectly. Let me try that. Oh, you, man, there's a second there where you can do it. What if you kill him, but the icicles are coming down? Can you kill him and then get killed by an icicle? Probably not. Oh, damn it. I can imagine speedrunners having such fun with this game. Or frustration, as it may be. I'm sure they figured out ways to, like, one-cycle the boss. Because you could. You could one-cycle him. If you get him to roll right at you right here, bounce off, and hit him in the, like, fourth of a second you have to shoot him in the ass, you could do it. And that's kind of what I'm going for, actually. Oh! I don't even have time to, like, look at where the hell I'm aiming. Or how much I've even drawn back the bow. It's so fast. Such a brief opening there. I mean, when else does he open those? Either right then we have like a fourth of a second, or it's when he's throwing snowballs. When he's throwing snowballs, he's pointing at you. Which means you can't really shoot his ass unless you bounce the arrow off. But nah, I didn't think it has enough momentum after bouncing off to kill anybody. You could do the retrieval thing like I was talking about. Um, where you shoot the arrow. And then try to retrieve it to kill the enemy. But look at how slow that is. To actually time that in the extremely brief window, window that you have to shoot him in the ass, to actually time that would be very, very difficult. Much more difficult than I think just straight up shooting him. So I'm going to go with my current tactic. Oh, so close! I think I shot his foot! I feel like my arrows are on the level of his foot anyway. Are they actually going to hit him in the ass? I mean, they would have to, right? It's not like I can aim up or down. Damn it. This is probably like the worst enemy to start with. It doesn't really matter though, because again, you can't be underleveled. And if this guy is way harder than the others, then it just means the others are going to be a lot easier once I get to him, once I've finally figured this guy out. Damn it! I think I'm, I think I'm not drawing the bow back long enough. That or I'm just bouncing off his feet. Like, I'm not even sure. Everything's going so fast, I can't freaking tell. He's rolling at me, I'm rolling, I'm drawing my bow, stuff's falling from the ceiling. I don't know what's going on. I feel like this is going to work, though. I've only got one try, though, because he's so close that I die as soon as he starts rolling at me again.
I bet a lot of people would be super angry right now, but I, I think playing Dark Souls has kind of gotten rid of that part of me. It's almost like I can't even worry about the stuff falling from the ceiling. Like, I just can't deal with that. Just ignore it, hope that I am not going to get hit by it. There's really not enough time to worry about where it's going. I'm 99% certain this is going to work. Oh! My opportunity was right there. Right there. Just shot a little bit too late. Crystals. Or icicles. Whatever they are. They're probably icicles. Crystals are prettier, though. Ooh, so close again. I think I shot over him. I really need to get straight behind him. That's really what I need to do. I can't be shooting shooting him at an angle. It just gets way harder to actually hit him. See, I'm going to try rolling right behind him. Even if I'm touching his freaking feet, I don't care. Oh. Not enough time. Got behind him, I was still drawing my bow. Can I just like melee attack with the arrow? <laughs> just like jam the arrow into his ass with my with my arm? <laughs> oh! I saw it stick into his foot kind of, it like went twing. Vibrated back and forth, just a little bit too late. It's gonna work. I'm gonna stay closer to the wall too, which means I don't have to uh... I don't have to travel as far to actually get directly behind him in that case if I stay close to the wall. No, yeah, that wasn't gonna work. Damn it! Still too late.
I shot it at the right time, but I just... I don't know if this is going to work, actually. I shot it at the right time. The only problem is I didn't have time enough to actually hold down... Uh, pull back the string to actually have the arrow go fast enough. It was too weak. It just it barely went anywhere. How do I get enough time to actually pull it? I don't know. Maybe it ain't going to work. Maybe it does need to be from the side. Maybe I don't have time to go back. I feel like I can't really hit him, though, if I hit him from the side. It keeps, like, going in the leg or above or below him. It'd be funny if I'm spending all this effort on a tactic that just isn't going to work. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny at all. I don't even know what it's bouncing off, off of, I can't see. I'd have to like play back the video in slow motion or something. Alright, well I've, I've gone down from 99% certain that this, is, this tactic's gonna work to 95. No, I'm not so sure. Oh, that was a perfect opening. Ow. The perfect opening. Okay, he doesn't actually have to hit directly down. In fact, it might be better if he doesn't. Because that actually worked out really well. Yeah, let's try having him hit a little bit to the side. Right in his foot again. Fucking foot. The fact that it keeps hitting him in the foot makes me think it can't even hit his ass. Because my dude refuses to aim up, but it's probably just like a hitbox thing where if you just happen to hit at the right angle, it'll automatically go in his ass or something. Or maybe you're not supposed to hit his ass at all. Seems like a seems like a nice a nice place to hit though. Ow. That's too far forwards. Just out of curiosity, by the way, what happens if I hit you from the back? Like, do you instantly turn around? You don't. Hmm. That gives me an idea. How fast can you pick up an arrow if you shoot it at a wall? Or in this case, his ass. Hmm, it bounces. Uh, let me try something. It actually took him about a second to turn around. Maybe he's invulnerable for that opening moment, but I want to try just, like, being right up next to him. How did he not kill me? At the beginning there, it looks like he's beating his fists at me and I wasn't dying. Um, either way, I don't think that's gonna work. Although that'd be really funny if it could. Just go up behind him, shoot him in the ass, then shoot him in the ass again. But no, the arrow bounced off. Gotta be some clever way to set stuff up where you can kill him really quickly. But in lieu of that, let's keep trying this. Q. 
keep hitting his foot. I really, it seems like I really need to be directly behind him. Oh, that was such a good angle! I don't even know what happened. It was such a good angle. Everything goes too fast. I wonder if you can, like, kill him with the icicles. I doubt it. Because yetis are ice people. Aren't they immune to heavy objects if they're ice? <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. That's such a good angle! Like, that totally works! That's just shooting too late. I need to shoot before I think I need to shoot. So I think this is a little bit of time. A little bit of, uh, I guess, lag until the arrow is actually released. And of course, there's travel time for the arrow, so gotta take that in consideration. Damn it! I bet speedruns for this game are like five or ten minutes long. This boss is annoying me to the point that I kind of want to try another boss, but then it's like, I've spent all the time researching this thing, I might as well finish it. Don't want to leave something half finished. Again? Good angle, I don't know even what happened. This is kind of annoying, because I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if I'm just bouncing off or shooting too early, It's everything's going too fast to tell. Finally, right in the left glute. You know, I characterized my character as being a murderer of titans, but you kind of deserve to be murdered. Because you're such a dick to the person who infiltrated your place to murder you in the fur- uh, 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 It doesn't hold up, don't think about it. I'm glad you're dead. Yeah! That is a seriously pink ass. Well, I mean, look look around here. There's all these, like, bones of things that he's eaten. I mean, clearly this creature's a murderer, and I just killed a murderer. So I've done a good for all of society. Right? Oh, that's satisfying. Almost looks like there's a thing there under the snow. What is that? Who knows? Alright, well, I think I'll end it there. That is a very satisfying place to end it. I kind of want to draw something in the snow using these rolling patterns. Hmm. Don't know what to draw, though. Let's make lines. There we go. Nice X. Perfect. Anyway. There we go. So, yeah, this game is pretty freaking cool. 
Um, it's honestly exactly what I thought it was, because I played the demo, I knew what to expect. It's a game of... Um, massive boss fights, wonderful art, wonderful music, fight these massive titans, each with different patterns that you have to learn. With very precise timings, you gotta shoot at just the right area at just the right time. And it equals instant death for you or for, for them. Mostly for you, though. So, lots of repetition, but the road back to uh, where you need to go to take another try is only like maybe five seconds long, or at least it was for this boss. So the repetition isn't too bad. Takes the sting away when you don't have to run back like two or three minutes to get back to him. It's interesting, though. Just to think a little bit about kind of the structure of the game, this game's been compared to Dark Souls quite a few times, which I don't think is a great comparison. It doesn't really have that many similarities. But there's kind of, a, I think, a useful comparison to be made about some of the kind of differences, actually, between the two. So I was just thinking about how um, you often die in Dark Souls, and you have to reset, and oftentimes there's a pretty lengthy run back to the boss. It can often be a couple minutes, or maybe even more, depending on whether you run past the enemies along the way or actually decide to kill them. And I was just thinking about the fact that that aspect of Dark Souls has never been something that I've been for the most part, has been something that I've really minded. It's never been ultra annoying to have to run back to the bosses for many, many attempts in Dark Souls. There's some exceptions, certain bosses, certain runs, but for the most part, that was never really an issue. And I'm thinking about the fact that if I did have to run back to these bosses for a couple minutes, it would be an issue. I was thinking about that. It would be an issue in this game if I had to have a long run back to them, but it wouldn't be an issue in Dark Souls why is that? And I think it's because of the fact that there's a lot more leeway in Dark Souls. So one of the big differences between these two games. Dark Souls typically gives you a lot of, well, not necessarily a lot of, but a fairly good kind of margin of error that it lets you recover from. Dark Souls fights often, and boss fights, often turn into kind of battles of attrition, where you have plenty of healing. You might have like 10 or 12 Estus flasks or something of the sort. And so the actual battle doesn't become so much can you avoid getting hit, but can you avoid getting hit enough that you have enough healing to complete the fight? Because you can make a lot of mistakes and take a lot of damage, but you can always heal it back so long as you time your heals correctly and you don't get hit, you don't get one hit killed, which is pretty rare in Dark Souls. Most of the time you don't get one hit killed. You take some damage and then you look for an opportunity to heal and then you can recover. So it often becomes more of a battle, battle of attrition, making sure that you make small enough errors infrequently enough that you have enough healing potions to get through the fight. But this game has no margin of error whatsoever. If you get hit at all, you are dead. There is no healing, there is no half measures. If they get hit, they're dead. If you get hit, you're dead. So I think the fact that there's really less acceptance of errors is probably the main difference that makes it so that the quick run back is a lot better in this game. Whereas the long run back in Dark Souls actually is kind of okay because Typically, fights last a hell of a lot longer in Dark Souls than they do here. So, just some thoughts about that. I thought that was kind of interesting. Realizing the differences between the two. So, yeah, this game is really fun so far. I'm looking forward to finding out what new and strange creatures I can murder next. Take their souls. I do actually feel kind of bad. I'm kind of an asshole. Oh well. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.